Right now I am recording a bunch of videos in a row, mainly because I have just been busy and doing other things and getting stuff done. And I'm proud of that, but I don't want to abandon the channel. So who knows when this is going to be uploaded? Probably in a couple days, if I'm being honest. If and, But you don't know that because you don't know when this is recorded. You don't know. This could, this could all be within a week. It could be in a month. Who knows? Either way, I recently, at the time of this recording, watched When Evil Lurks. During my horror-thon throughout most of October, which there is going to be a video on that and what I watched in October, and I think that's going to be pretty fun, uh, this kept popping up on lists when Evil Lurks. It's a pretty hyped up Argentinian horror movie, so it's in Spanish. It's on Shudder through AMC Plus if you want to watch it. And it's about this small town and the residents discover that there is a demon about to just come up out of here. So they try to escape, but it, it may be too late. We gotta figure, they gotta figure that out. There has been a lot of hype surrounding this movie, mainly for its use of practical effects and just how grisly and overall gory and mean of a movie this is. So I went in this with pretty high expectations. I had heard a lot of good things about it from people I knew that had seen it. And for a little bit, I, I was getting the hype. The entire first half of this movie just is off the walls insane, at least in my opinion. There's some genuinely horrifying stuff, like images, and what happens to the, the, the residents of this town is pretty grisly. And there is one specific scene with a dog that really has not left my mind since I've seen it, and it is just nut stuff. And even whether it's how they filmed it, like how they even thought of it, it is pretty nasty stuff that honestly I could get behind. This first half also includes some of the most intense sequences of any movie I've seen this year. Again, the scene with the dog. There is a scene with goats as well that's pretty gnarly, and even the poster as well. The scene with the poster is pretty nuts. Again, the practical effects here are pretty nuts here too. I'm saying the word nuts a lot because I was getting the hype here. This is again like one of the meanest movies of this of, of the of the year so far and it's pretty much held together by the two main performances of the movie done by Ezequiel Rodriguez and Demian Salomon they are both pretty damn good in this especially especially Rodriguez I really loved him in this unfortunately though this whole movie just falls apart in the second half and it honestly makes me sad because I was really riding the high of that first part. If if it had kept up this momentum and just riding through it, uh, it just would have it probably would have been my favorite horror movie of this year. Which is saying a lot because there's been a lot of good horror movies this year. I just think the second half it really gets generic, which kind of shocked me because the whole first half is pretty inventive for a demon and a possession movie, it feels, at least that first half, feels more like a true successor to The Exorcist more than The Exorcist Believer did just last month. I'm usually not a stickler for like following the rules of the, the, the demon itself and what it establishes, but it, at least in my opinion, it kind of breaks those rules and it bothered me a little bit. And just a really baffling ending as well that just kind of blew me away of how strange it was, and strange not in a good way, which really, again, really blew me away because the first half of this was just so fucking good. I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about When Evil Lurks, not to spoil anything, but this really did show a lot of promise. I think the first half of this is some of the most entertaining and gruesome and vile horror that has come out in recent memory that again, really shocked me and was just a, a, an adrenaline ride of horror. And not many mo horror movies can do that for me. But then again, that second half really just disappointed me. And it was one of the most disappointing second halves of the year and one of the strangest third acts of the year overall. When Evil Lurks, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. 
I just feel like this really should have been a lot more than it was, especially with such an incredible first half of the movie. Man, Shudder is a weird streaming service. There's, there's some fun stuff on there, but like, it's such a weird place.